Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are doing the Minecraft Creator Challenge for December. It is called Grave Intentions, and I'm setting up the world. It will be on hard, cheats on, survival, and the purpose is to find as many unique death messages as possible in 15 minutes. I'm given a bed and a fishing rod. The fishing rod starts a timer. It's part of the data pack, and we're off and running. So I'm going to take care of some of the easy deaths first. We'll start with suffocation. And I will just sit here for a minute and we'll suffocate. This will be the first death. Gintian suffocated in a wall. I'm going to be using the replay mod because especially at night, it's really hard to see and video makes it even worse. I can't see as clearly as in the replay mod. The replay mod gives me the ability to give clear lighting at all times. So you'll be able to see everything at, in daytime or nighttime. It just causes some minor changes to the display and the fact that you can't see the toolbar and you can't see my hearts as they disappear. I am not going for drowning, although that's what it appears like. I want to lower my hearts down so that it'll be easier to do the next death. But as of right now, I am drowning, but I'm not going to let myself die this way. At least not yet. And so we can get out. And what I want to work on is I'm going to fall from a high place. Get that one out of the way. And that should not be hard, since all I gotta do is step off this. That's why I gathered the blocks. Death number two fell from a high place. Next, I think I will go explore the ocean and maybe drowned. That's always one that's on the top of my list. And you can see very clearly, I, however, if you've played the game, could not see much further because it wasn't lit up like this. And I'm starting to take damage, but I see something. I see magma. And there's death number three. The floor was lava. So, now I can do the drowning part. But, like I said, explore while you can. I gotta say, dying on purpose is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Especially if you want to do it in a specific order. Make sure you've got as many as different death messages as possible. That actually makes it a lot harder. And that's death number four. Gintian has drowned. Now I'm looking around and trying to figure out what to do next. Essentially, eventually, I decided to move. So I'm looking for better opportunities. Any resources, things that I can use to die. Is that a cactus in front of me? It is. A cactus is a good way. Look at that. This is normal Minecraft. Can you believe it generated like that? Anyway, we have a cactus. Set the bed. And... We can have fun dying on a cactus. And that brings us to death number five. I'm going to take a cactus with me in case I need it. You'll notice that I don't spend as much time on the death screen as I did in previous attempts. It uses up your time. 
the clock keeps ticking. So look what this is. Nothing worth taking. So move on. Give it a good once over. And then move out. I gotta say, making decisions at the time is a lot harder than when you see this on replay. Its decisions seem to be so slow when you when you're watching. Like, what is taking you so long? This area looks dark. Can I? I can't set cock. I can set the bed down, but I can't set the cactus down. Just throw it. Let's go look at some of this dark area. Well, that doesn't go anywhere. Stop wasting time. Let's move out. Okay. Here we go. Nothing really in the water. But I can use the waterfall to swim up. And now I'm just running. I really hope to find a village. Gather up some of these sticks while I can. I don't see a village. I'm really hoping to find a village. The village has a lot of unique deaths that you can take advantage of. But I am not seeing a village. At this point, I am just trying to make as much distance as possible, as quickly as possible. <laughs> that squeak is a bunny rabbit. How about that? I want to make as much distance as possible because I want to find something that will help me die. There is, that's where the luck comes in as part of this challenge is if you can spawn at a good location, you have more opportunities. Of course, one of those is being next to a village, which I am not. Let's go down and look at this dark area. Touch the bed, reset my point, put the cactus down. I see light. I see lava and I took Gideon took a swim in lava now I want to go set myself on fire get out I can't get out okay that was a wasted effort that was another swim in lava not a unique death I still can't get out. I'm stuck. Another wasted effort. I'm not sure why I can't move. So I'll come over here and just barely touch it. And now I am on fire. Which is exactly what I was looking to do. I wanted to catch on fire. Because fire is a unique death message. Touch it again. I burn to death. So there you have it. Now, is there anything else worthwhile here? I don't think so. Gather it up. The cactus. I'm carrying the cactus around because I want to. If I need to weaken myself to take damage, a cactus is a pretty fast way to do it. 
And so that's why I'm carrying the cactus in case an opportunity presents itself. Now I just need to keep moving, looking for something, an opportunity. Not seeing anything. I am not seeing anything. Still hoping to find a village. Still hoping. Nah, I'm not going to chance that hole. I don't need to drown again. Build up some speed. Railroad tracks. That means a mine, a hole, something. More railroad tracks. What is this? Awesome. I can go in here. Let's hop down. And now I can be poisoned to death. Gimpian was slain by a cave spider. Well, that's definitely unique death. And it is getting noticeably darker. I just noticed that I don't have the cactus or my bed. And I respawned at spawn. So there is that. But I see zombies and they are a good choice. Slain by a zombie. And look, husks. So I can get slayed by them too. Gintian was slain by a husk. Okay, what else do I need? I need a spider or a skeleton. Run past these guys. If I get them in the water, they will turn away and no longer be zombies. They'll be drowned. And that would be a good thing. So I've got time. I just need to sit a little while and wait for them to drown. Without me drowning, please. 10 is my previous record. As far as the number of unique deaths. Now as soon as these guys turn into drowned, they can swim. Before that, they are stuck on the bottom. But drowned can swim, so as soon as they switch over, they will become drowned and there they go. And now they're swimming up to me. doing the job so Skinthian was slain by a drowned now I need a spider and a skeleton Let me get some blocks don't have a lot of time let's run for it a husk. Let's see. I'm looking. I don't see anything yet. Uh, what is that? The spider can get me. I was slain by a spider. That's 12. That's a new record. I think skeleton is something if I can find a skeleton. Looking. Gathering up some more blocks. Don't have time for that. There's a skeleton. Let's go. Shoot me. 
again, dude. Hey! Shot by a skeleton. That's 13 mobs, or 13 unique deaths, and 12 seconds left. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And this game is over. That is a new record. And the first time I looked at this, I didn't notice that some of them had moved off the top of the screen. So I counted them, and I counted them wrong. I thought my max was 11. But when I, during editing and counting them up, I realized I got to 13. So that's wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted. If you like what you see, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I create more content. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.